Workflow automation in Tabadoo is the ultimate weapon. It allows very advanced automation and customization. Along with HTML free input, it allows you to customize Tabadoo to all your needs. And what will you use the workflow automation for? If you need to receive an email after a record change, you want to send a report every night. When you press button to change selected records, send a notification to Slack two days before the deadline, and many more. Let's say that after changing a task, we send an email to the person who is responsible for the task. Responsible field in the tasks table is the link to users. We move to the workflows. Add a new one and name it. After naming, we select a trigger. This is what starts the scenario we define next. We select when record change trigger. We need to select the table and then we can create our scenario. Actions to be performed. In our case, the first action is send email action. First, select to whom the record change notification will be sent. We can choose from system values or to everyone in a specific role. A fixed email or a dynamic value from a field in the change record. We select the value from the responsible field. You can change the subject and the body of the mail. If you want to change the body of the email, you can use the values from the change record. Or you can leave it blank and Tabadoo will fill in the value automatically. We leave everything at the default values. And that's it. Now, the user who is responsible for the task will receive a notification every time someone changes their task. As a second scenario, we send out a list of new unassigned tasks. We will send it as a report in PDF every Monday. Here we have a report prepared. The tasks table is set as data source. The report has a fixed filter. Empty fields responsible and state equal to new. Let's create workflow automation together. Select add and name the workflow. Select at scheduled time as the trigger. We'll choose Monday. For better clarity, we collapse the defined steps. As the first action, we select Create Report. Select the report to be generated and fill in the name of the resulting file. We collapse the step again. Select Send Email as the next action. This time we will send it to a fixed address. Add a subject and fill something to the email body. Since we created a report in the previous action, we have the option here to attach it as an email attachment. And that's it. From now on, every Monday we will receive a list of tasks that are in the new state and do not have the responsible field filled in. The next demonstration will be a button. Pressing it will change the state of all selected records in the table. Again, let's move to workflow automation and add a new one. Name it, of course. This time, select custom button as trigger. Select table. Set the label for the button. Select the style and color. Yellow will be very distinctive indeed. As the first action, we select custom JavaScript. Actually, type script. Here, we are limited only by our knowledge and imagination. If we need to know more about the model parameter, we can write it in the console. I don't need this for a simple update, so I'll comment out this line. I'll use the pre-made update fields function to update the record. Do. Table. Update fields is the right way. Please check our help section for more. Parameters are table name, record ID, and the fields we want to change.
we will change the state field to the closed value. It would be nice to get some kind of notification after the workflow is finished. We will use the message box action for this purpose. Choose the type of message box and the text you want to display in the end. This is our workflow definition. The button is a trigger and two actions. After saving, we move to the tasks table and test our new workflow. The button is here. The selected row has no state filled in. After pressing the button, the state has changed to the close state. Awesome! In this example, we will create a deadline notification. In other words, we run our workflow a few days before the deadline date in the tasks table. The trigger is called when it's time. This means the time is calculated from the field in the record. Of course, we have to select the table. We choose seven days before the deadline date. The deadline is the only date field in the tasks table, so only this one field is offered. Once started, we can again define whatever actions we need. For example, send a message to Slack, send an email, etc. It depends only on our needs. If you want to learn more about automations in Tabadoo, feel free to visit our help section. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.